Welcome to day number 54 on Journey to UFC. In this series, I'm going for a completely zero martial arts experience all the way to a UFC fighter. The most significant strikes landed in a fight, the majority of them were on the ground. And this fight's not touched the ground. I would really, I would really think about stopping this if I heard and the coaches. <laughs> he points out the DC. He's even listening to the commentary team. So right now it's about 11 o'clock and I woke up around two, three hours ago. Um, I woke up today and I was feeling again really tired as I went to bed a little bit late last night as I was uploading the video. But uh, yeah, I'm feeling fresh now, really motivated and actually I feel quite good. My my hand still feels a little bit like not nice. I think it's from grabbing onto the gi. Um, in jiu-jitsu, obviously you, have, you wear your gi and you can grab grab the collars and the lapel and basically when someone pulls off or wrenches away it sometimes just catches your hands and it's not very nice i think my hands just need a bit more conditioning but yeah i'm feeling good today i think i'm gonna go swimming again because uh it's just i'm really getting into my swim at the moment and i might as well just like whilst i'm enjoying it i might as well just carry on going and keep riding it out because like it's not often that you enjoy doing like really hard cardio you know um yeah gonna try and aim for a whole mile we're gonna get there right bang on the start of the session do a full hour of swimming like literally not take my head up for the entire hour it's been really good i'm looking forward to that especially with the tumble turns the tumble turns are so sick honestly i don't know why i get so much enjoyment out of doing a tumble turn at the end of a length so right now before i go to swimming i think i'm gonna tidy my room up because at the moment my room is an absolute tip i'm not i, I am in my room right now but i'm not going to show you the floor because it's too embarrassing um, it's literally like just clothes like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu stuff pads gloves all over the floor I'll just chucked it on the floor because I just I get back from Jiu Jitsu and I'll just be like yeah I'll just put it there and then I never get time to actually tidy it up so I think tidying my room will actually like improve my, my, my mental state because when you have a tidy room like your your mind's tidy you know uh, some shit like that all right so I'm just gonna go tidy my room and I will come back in a bit Right now, it's coming up to nine o'clock, and it's been a really, really good day so far. So after going to uh, swimming, I did 52 lengths, really good. I absolutely loved the swimming. It was such good cardio, really, really hard, and I actually destroyed myself doing the cardio to the point where even when I was swimming, my shins were starting to hurt again, which is a bit shit. Then on the way back, uh, well, after swimming, I did some boxing, which I just showed you. And then on the way back, I went to Tesco's and picked up some of this like uh, deep heat stuff. One of my um, my viewers, my, um, he commented on one of my videos that you can put this like deep heat cream on your on your shin and just rub it in. It's like a cream. You rub that in, and it basically just relieves some of the pain off your and heal starts. This does some shit to your shin. I'm no fucking scientist. It helps out your shin. It makes you feel bad. I've put that on it. It does actually feel a little bit better. 
I'm not sure it's meant to like work into the Arsenal psychological, but you know, I'm it, it, hopefully that will help. Did miss Brazilian Jiu Jitsu tonight, but I honestly stopped myself from going. Uh, my parents said, do not go. I was going to go. I was going to just lie to them and say I hadn't gone, but I didn't go because at the moment I'm just, I'm just not like, I'm not in the um, physical state really. I'm like, my shins are still fucked. I'm led on the sofa with like Albus with the fucking uh, deep heat oil on my shins. I, ca I can't be training, man. It's, it's not going to be good. It's not going to do any benefits. I'd rather just have the have like the full week off. Obviously, I went on Thursday yesterday, but that I, I tried to go really light then because I was in pain. Um, just have the day to have the week off and then just hit it back on Monday. And honestly, I think I feel a lot better for that. I also did speak to some people um, who uh, this is quite exciting for the goal. Basically, the goal ahead for my channel, um, completely like I've gone off on a tangent here, but the goal ahead of my channel is at the moment we're just training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, absolutely maxed out Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I want to get really, really good at Brazilian Jiu Jitsu because I want to be that like one of my best bits as being a fighter. I want to be such a good ground fighter, such a good wrestler, um, and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is kind of the thing for that. Um, then I've always wanted in my life to go out to Thailand and train Muay Thai in Thailand. And I was speaking to some guys today about. Basically, there's some blokes that I know from um, from this community, and they're thinking of going out to Thailand and uh, like buying a house out there. And yeah, I was talking to them about that, and we're just kind of getting that all planned. So in the future, maybe next year, we could be doing videos from Thailand. Imagine that videos in Thailand, uh, Muay Thai gym in my own like house in the fucking Thailand. Oh, it'd be so good. Uh, it'd be honestly really good. I'm still going to be really sad if that ever does happen to leave the gym that I'm at right now because the gym I'm at like, right now I fucking love. Um, it's actually like this is one of the like happiest best times of my life when I've been training and it's they're like it's like my first gym you know it's so good so I'm always going to come back to that gym but yeah, like my loyalty is there but obviously I do want to like train and do some Muay Thai and, and uh, improve my striking in it. So that's something we're definitely going to do. Um, in the future and we're trying to get that planned and that was we're having a chat about that today and like how the visas and stuff are going to work so we'll see how that goes um right now i'm going to be honest i'm my friends coming back from uni and i haven't hung out hung out with some friends like basically i'm i'm not a loner but most of my friends like <laughs> i don't meet up my friends that, that much you know um as i'm just focused on my goals and actually becoming a ufc fire and obviously you can't just be hanging out with friends all the time. But tonight I has, have said to my friends that I'm going to hang out with them because they are coming back from uni and it'll just be really nice. Obviously, I'm not going to go drinking and shit like that. I'm not not throwing, throwing that out there. But yeah, we're just going to have a nice night, probably get do some dumb shit, you know, hopefully not too dumb. We, we end up in prison. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm joking. I'm, I'm not that bad. But yeah, no, uh, it's going to be a good night, hopefully. Hopefully it does happen because always, you know, what friends are that sometimes they just bail out. But yeah. So I'm going to leave the video there. It's about uh, nine o'clock right now. And um, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in day number 55 tomorrow. I have got work in the morning, so I'm not going to be out too late. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.